Hello, good evening. It's now Saturday. Uh, very soon, in the next few hours or so, it'll be Sunday tomorrow morning. So I like to say is, uh, I have so the the things I've done so far right. I've done them before right, but I thought to just to make sure that are up to date, right? So. I've done my own version of Hedwig's theme tune. I've done this original rap on Lost Rap and then mind of it because I've done because me and being on I hear it more different right than it does. So um so on the Hedwig's theme tune you on the third fret you play an open E which is like this. So that's your first one, and once you've done that, and you play a a a a chord. So it's from third to second. So it's so it's third second open on that, and then so once you've done open. Uh, e, you know, e, e string right on ukulele, so it goes, and then you go from so that's one part, and then you go from so once you've done the, the so so once you've done that part, you go from seven. So it's seven five two frets, and then you go from there. You play an E string, which is so you play an E string on the third fret, and an A string on the on the first first fret, and then an open E on the second fret. So that's one whole part. So <laughs> let me go through with you. You go. So so the, so that's one part of the song. The other part where you play. So it's whole. So the whole song, the whole song, is complete. So when you've done that part, you go to. Third fret, so basically you repeat that again what we've done at the beginning, and then we go and then we go to seventh fret, so from seven you go to ten fret, or, or on the A string, and then from there. You go to uh, four, four fret. So basically, it's all on the same chord, A string, and then from there to third fret, C string, and then E string on the third fret, and seven fret, A string. And then from there you go to, so you do three notes and seven eight. And then from seven to the last one you go to ten. On the or on the A string, and again to four fret on the A string. Back up to A string on the on the A string again, and then from. A to seven fret, and then seven fret. So it's eight to seven on the E string, and then back on to on to seven fret E string. So it's so you so you basically do it backwards. So you do it's like eight seven seven eight, and then back on to seven fret. So it's 
So you, so you, so you're doing it this way. So, so it's eight, seven, seven, eight, seven, six. So it's eight, seven on the E string, seven, eight on the E string, and then seven, six on the E string, and then back onto the third fret C string. And then, and then the last bit of that song, you play a C, an A string first, and, and then open A string. So that is your, so that is your entire sound of that song. Oh, but that's how I play it. But you can do other ways of also making you like. Right, but I don't know if this is the original. But well, me being autistic, but that's how I hear it. Uh, there's nothing wrong with that anyway, because I see as a different ability of it's something that I've learned quite recently. That if I hear something of like music, it might not mean it might be the correct one, but that's how I see it as the one that I think it sounds like. Because you know, and uh, that's all I can say really about that one. So there you go, so that's the entire song of Hedwig's theme tune and and the number one I want to show you it's um, uh, Pink Panther it's what I've done before right but I thought I'd do a, a refresher right so anyway, like the one what I've done before like just, just me, your, your Hedwig's theme tune so the one Pink Panther right uh, I, I can't do this right, but I need a bit more practice, but I can do it, so to speak. So you start for, so your, your first chord is, is your C string, but you play that from, from your first fret, uh, third string, down to your fourth fret right, on your C string. So, so you do it like this. So, so that is, that's, and then from there, so anyway, on that one, you play after you've done this, after you've done the so after you're playing your, your C string from your first fret to your fourth fret, you play an uh, uh, E minor. So you and after that you play your your second fret, uh, uh, second fret, second string. To your third fret, the uh, second so is so basically you're playing, uh, uh, so right. I'm trying to. Uh, I do apologize. It's me because I'm more to right, It takes me a while to right understand. So, so it, it, so I'm trying to say is in the Pink Panther after doing your. E minor, and then you play your second and third f fret on the E string, and then and then and then an other E string. So from there, third, third, fourth. Second, third, two, and so basically you play your third, your fourth fret on the C string, second and third on the E string, and second. So you play your third to your second fret on the E string. So it goes like this.
and you play another another E minor. So as you play the E minor, right after doing that, you move your your finger to your first fret on your first string, which is A string. So it goes from. And you play so so after then you So on the last bit of that first uh, part of the of the ping pong play, you play the you play a an E string on the first fret, C string on the second fret, and then open E string on your third fret, and in the second part you you, you repeat that again. And then from there, so basically you're repeating the same chords as before at the beginning, but you're making, but you're in this one, but, so add the same chords, so you play 4th fret on this E string, 3rd fret on the E string, and the 2nd on the A string, and then the 1st on the, so basically, so, and then from there you go from 4th from fret, So basically, you're playing exactly the same strings as you do in the first part of the song, of the Pink Panther song, uh, or Fiend tune, uh, and then you play the seventh. So it's seventh to sixth fret on the A string, and then you and you play. So it was so basically you meant uh, after. That, After that right, what you do then you play the the same chords and you play a seven seven five seven five seven four so it's seven five on the E string seven seven five on the E string and seven four on the C string, and you go to your first fret on the first fret on the A chord, which is on the first fret, and you go, and then you play a E chord on the first fret. You play, then you play a a C chord on the. Second fret, which is your third string, and then on, and you play an E on the E string on the uh, third fret twice. So let me play it through for you. Show you how to play it. I mean, well, I, I, what it sounds like. So 
that is your entire song of Pink Panther. Uh, just take your time with this, right? I do apologize for my speech, right? I do, I am, I am actually autistic, right? So I do apologize, them, but I don't feel I need to apologize because the way how I take my time doing something, right? Like if I, like if I rushed, so I'd rather that's my cat in the background, Pepper. She's only 21, gorgeous cat, and I love her to bits anyway. Uh, I was saying before about the song, right? That me, uh, when you're autistic, right? Uh, like me, uh, all you have to do right, is take your time, right? Don't rush into it, right? You might, cause, and and if you have trouble of making one video yourself, right? My advice, right, is do your best, right? And just keep going, really. Be positive, yourself, cause. Like I've done, I've done this over eight weeks now, right? Uh, uh, just over eight, eight weeks. So, so they are these ones I've done so far. There are more to come that I've done before. I thought I'd do a refresher to make sure that um you're not you're not way behind on things to learn, because I know there's a lot of people in this country and other parts of like you know. You want to learn new songs and that right. So there you go. So until tomorrow, I'll say good night and uh, let us know that I uh, like my t-shirt. Um, this uh, that is on my that is on my profile. So if you want to look at it, just go to. Uh, well, if you have to mix interesting to mix interesting things, right? Or you go or you go to um, going through life. Due to being autistic with ADHD, uh, I know it's a I know it's a lot of type here, but if you type in mixing interesting things right, that should come from me anyway on my on my YouTube. So keep smashing my subscribe button and send me give me some send me some you know smash smash those comments as well, and I'll say good night and I'll see you later. Hey.